everybody, welcome to Emily Entertainment. My name is Emily and today we're going to be doing a slime review. So to save time, I just want to jump right into this video, so let's get started. So the first slime I have is this really nice green slime and it has a little bit of like texture to it right here because I, I have been playing with it. It's a glow in the dark slime and it has a really nice texture. It's very stretchy, as you can see, well, or not. <laughs> But it is very stretchy, and I'm going to move you so you can see better. Right there. There. You can still see them, but there's more space now. See, it's very stretchy, and I want to try now clicking it. Ready? So I'm also going to be rating these slimes from 1 to 10. So, yeah, let's see which one gets the highest vote. Rate, whatever. <laughs> okay, so, clicks. Pretty good. Is this one scented? No, I don't think I added a scent to this one. I also just want to say all these slimes are homemade by me. And I'm very proud of all these slimes. Yes, I'm very proud of my slimes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm very proud of all my slimes because... I used to not be really good at slime a little while ago, but now I think I've really improved, and I'm proud of myself for that, so, yeah. So, I think I'm going to rate this slime probably about a 7. First of all, this slime is glow-in-the-dark, but I can't really show you guys this because you need to hold it up to the light first, and I don't really have a dark spot right now because of the sunlight right there. Well, and also I'm writing it a 7. It's not scented, which I really like scented slimes. It's basically just a basic color, which I'm okay with. I like basic. And I don't think this slime will ever go clear again because you can see, I will show you. You can see these little particles, which they're very small and kind of hard to see on camera. But the particles from the glow in the dark powder so it's it's a nice slime it also took a lot of kneading in for it to get to this non-sticky um state so yeah seven is what this slime is rated so let's put that away and let's get on to the next slime the next slime we have is this nice pink one it's it has some um, iridescent glitter in it and as soon as you look to the top it's very bubbly and i like that it also has some iridescent flakes in it and i haven't felt this one yet so it may be a little bit sticky oh and no it's not it's a pretty good texture right now but the only thing i'm kind of upset with in the slime is that Sometimes these little iridescent flakes, which I don't know if you can see, but one's right there, uh, they kind of like poke you in the hands, and it hurts a little bit if they're pointy, like if you get a pointy one, but yeah. It also kind of stops it from stretching that far, so this slime, it's still stretchy, just not as stretchy, and you have to like carefully stretch it, like if you were to fastly stretch the slime, this is what would happen, that. So... Yeah, that's going to get it a lower mark. If, it, if it's scented, it may up, like boost it a little bit, but no, it's not scented. It has like that basic clear glue slime scent, I mean. But yeah, it's, it, it's a very nice slime, though. It has good pokes, I'm pretty sure. Just from feeling it, it seems like it does, so let's test. Yeah, pretty good pokes. I mean, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but in my opinion, it has... Uh, in my opinion, it has really good pokes. So, I think I'm going to rate this slime probably a 7 as well, because the color is really nice. I added some add-ins, like the flakes and some glitter. But it's not glow-in-the-dark, like the last one. And it's not scented, so... 7 for this one. I still really like the slimes, no matter what rating I give them. It's just rating comparing off of the other slimes, so, yeah. 
Next slime I'm going to show you is basic, just some clear slime. This slime, look, you can see, it's not fully cleared up yet, but you can kind of see my hand at the bottom. But yeah, so... You can already hear it has some clicks, so let's see if you can see my finger in it. Ready? A little bit. You can actually see my fingertips. You can see my hands. Ready? <laughs> that looks cool. I'm going to grab it out. Let's see what it looks like. Move the container over. So, yeah. Ooh, this slime has a really nice texture. kind of feels like putty. Oh, I, lo I like this slime a lot. It actually has cleared up a lot. I can see like right through it. Oh, probably because there's a bubble right here, but. <laughs> nice slime. So, this slime is automatically going to get a high rating because it's just a really nice slime. It does all the things a slime should do. Pretty pokey, clicky. Um, I love clear slimes, so this slime is really nice. I didn't have to do anything with the texture before the video so it wasn't sticky because i just opened this and it was really nice and it kind of had a putty texture which is something i like but not too like putty like if it's not stretchy or anything this has like a really nice putty texture that you would try and look for a putty so yeah i think this is going to get an eight because it doesn't really have any add-ins but i am going to eventually put some add-ins in so yeah this slime is actually scented i don't know why i scented a clear slime i scented it with this the vanilla coconut i can tell by the scent it smells really good mm. so yeah i don't know if i already said a rating but if i didn't it's an eight <laughs> so i rate this slime an eight and yeah, let's go on to the next slime. So this next slime is this black slime made with some black glitter glue like this and some clear glue because I've tested um, these little glitter glues before in this container and they don't work on their own so you have to add a little bit of clear glue with it but it works out in the end and oh my gosh, look. Oh, it's not showing the rest on camera, but it kind of looks gray at the top because of all those bubbles. It looks really cool. Mmm, smells amazing. I can't tell what scent. Oh, yeah, I remember. I used the black cherry scent for this slime, and it smells amazing. So this slime has really good clicks, and oh my gosh, I love how this, like, black and iridescent kind of silver glitter goes with it it kind of reminds me of a galaxy because i did add some of my other iridescent glitter glue into it this is iridescent glitter glue with that you also have to add some clear glue in with it i mean you can add any glue in with it but i suggest elmer's clear glue because it works the best for me so this slime is has a very nice texture it's not that like easy to stretch because it rips I don't know if, that, if that's the glue. Maybe one day I'll test all kinds of different glues, but I don't know about that yet. So, this has a really nice texture, but not. The color is probably one of the things that will get it to the highest point of marks. Because I don't really have a, like, a black food dye, but I do have black glitter, but that's still not the same thing so this is my first black slime and i like it but the texture may need a little bit working on so right now i'm going to rate this slime a five so yeah this slime gets a five so far the highest marked one is the clear glue slime and that's actually kind of surprising for me because I thought the colors would be nice. But I have high hopes for this one. This is their next one. It is scented berry lemonade. I know that for a fact. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is the ber berry lemonade scent I used. And I'm proud of the slime because, look, I love this color. And it feels very nice. 
This was a slime that I made actually pretty recently. I mean, I make slime recently. I make slime almost every day. But yeah, the slime is very stretchy. It probably will have good pokes. Sorry, let's test. Yes, very nice clicks. So it kind of looks metallic, and I think that's actually what I was trying to do, make it metallic. Because I did I did um clear glue and shaving cream, and that's my tip if you would like some metallic slime. I also do not know if other people have done that, but that was a hack from me. So yeah, the slime's very nice. I love the color. And yeah, so this slime is probably gonna get an eight as well. So we have two ties for the highest. So that didn't really make any sense, but so we have a tie. We have two slimes with eight, and eight is the highest so far. So yeah. Let's see if our last slime can be eight rates. Eight points eight something anyways okay this is the next slime and if you watched our prior video to this this slime will be kind of recognizable for you because this is the slime that we made yesterday so i'm just going to show you what it looks like at the top it's very sparkly and pretty Ooh, i feel like it's going to be sticky oh my gosh this slime is really nice Look right through it. There's not bubbles. Look at that. That's actually really pretty. Oh, I think this slime turned into a jiggly slime. And oh no, that's not gonna get good a good amount on the ranking. Because it got glitter all over my hands the second I touched it. But yeah, yeah, I turned the slime into a jiggly slime. But honestly. If jiggly slimes feel this nice, homemade jiggly slimes. Store-bought jiggly slimes are a little bit different, but they're still really good, and I like them. So, they just have different qualities and textures. But if jiggly, homemade jiggly slimes feel like this, I'm going to make some more because this feels really good. So, the texture, the color, um, the beads inside, we'll get it at a higher mark. I did send it yesterday as if you watched the video, I sent it in with French lavender, um, what are you called? Hand sanitizer, that's the word. So French lavender hand sanitizer, and it smells amazing. You know what? I think this slime is going to get a nine. So guys, this slime won. It has an amazing texture, the pokes. Usually, 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 jiggly slimes don't really poke that well, and you can't really hear a click. But this slime does have it, probably because it's homemade. And it is very stretchy and nice. So, I think it could have got a 10 if it didn't do all the glitter stains on my hands but that is kind of my fault because i added a lot of glitter in so yeah well i just want to say that is the end of the video well that this is the end of the video i had such a great time doing our first slime review and i just want to say i don't know what i just want to say but this has been an awesome video and i'm very happy that this slime won because it was in another slime video that I just posted yesterday. So, anyways, congratulations to this slime. I just want to let you know that I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see next. Because I'm very interested in what you have to say about what you want to see me do. So, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye!